If you're watching this video, then you're probably interested in stock photography and video. Maybe you're curious about what kinds of images sell for contributors like myself, or perhaps you're just looking for a little bit of inspiration, um, or finding out how much you can realistically make from your own stock photography and video assets. Well, stick around because in this video, I'm going to go over just how much money I earned from my stock photo and video sales in April of 2023. And I'll actually show you some of the images that sold for me as well. If you're new here, I am Joel, and on this channel, you're gonna find videos like this one, as well as other videos about photography and filmmaking. If you're digging that kind of content, I'd ask that you show it with a like or even subscribe. In fact, our channel almost has a thousand subscribers now. You're probably wondering why that's important. Um, well, basically, once a channel hits a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours in a calendar year, then you're finally able to apply for monetization through YouTube and maybe earn a few pennies off of all the ads that play before, after, and during some of the videos. So I want to thank everyone who has already subscribed to my channel and continues to watch these videos. I uh, really appreciate that a lot, and I hope you're still getting some good value out of that. I also wanted to give a special shout out to Matt Fowler. Um, he's another fellow photographer and YouTuber, so be sure to check out his channel as well. Uh, but he has some really good photography content on his channel, as well as he's been trying to help me get to a thousand subscribers. And a few of you may have actually come to my channel because of Matt. So if you're some of those people, then uh, let me know in the comments below. Give me a little shout out there. And if not, if you're not familiar with Matt, then definitely go check out his channel. Now, despite being a few subscribers short, um, I am also a few watch hours short right now. So if you're new, be sure to check out some of the other videos that I have on my channel. Uh, even some of my previous stock earnings videos, you can find a lot of the different kinds of images that sell on there, especially if you're looking for inspiration and get a sense of where, you know, how much some of them actually sell for pretty frequently and what uh, sites they're actually selling on. And you can also check out some of my other stuff too. If you want to like check out some of my old vlogs about traveling through Ireland or what have you, or even some of my old videos that I did behind the scenes on when I used to produce a lot more music videos and stuff like that. Or you can always just rewatch a few videos if you'd like, or I don't know, play the videos for your pets or your kids. I don't know. Just let them watch it on a loop. No, I'm just kidding. Am I kidding? So I'd like to start these videos off with just a little bit about what was going on in April, because as stock photography contributors, you know, we have obviously a whole other, a lot of other things going on in our life. It sometimes keeps us from actually editing images and uploading them and doing that sort of thing. So for me, April was no, no exception to that. Um, uh, it was a pretty busy month for me. I was actually traveling from the Algarve in Portugal to Albania and I had a quick stopover in Bergamo, Italy, as well as Corfu, Greece. And Bergamo was actually pretty nice because we had like a day or two. And one day I actually got to go through the Chiat Alta area of Bergamo and kind of do a photo walk and take some pictures and things like that, which was really fun to explore. And then in Corfu, I was only there overnight, so I really had no time to like go to get any photographs or anything, which is kind of unfortunate. But um, I was living in Albania in, in actually a town called Saranda, and it is just a little resort town on the, right on the Ionian coast, directly across from Corfu, where you can see that, which is pretty nice. Um, and of course, during the month of April, I was primarily focused on my other YouTube channel, which is The Wandering Hearts. It's my travel website or travel channel, and I have a travel website with that too. So I didn't really get a lot of content uploaded. However, I did film a lot of stuff and I took a lot of pictures. So um, one of those was on a trip to Eurocaster in Albania, which is an absolutely stunning location there. So if you guys are interested in seeing any of that or maybe some of the, like a photo tour or whatever, uh, some, putting together some kind of little slideshow or video about some of that stuff, let me know in the comments as well. So now let's go ahead and get into my April earnings for 2023. All right, so in April, I earned a total of $66.61, and that was from 42 image sales and three video sales. 
So let's start with some of the images that I sold in April from the stock agencies that have basically a lot of low sales. These are the ones I like to call my dishonorable mentions. On April, they were Canva, 123RF, uh, Deposit Photos, and Dreams Time. So starting with a few of the images that sold, like this one here, this is a public market sign in really famous sign in Pike's Place, part of Seattle, that sold on Dreams Time. This next shot is of a female hiker in a tropical forest. This sold on 123RF, and it's actually filmed in Puerto Rico. Next, we have this Land Cruiser on the Sierra Nevadas, also sold on 123RF, and that was sold as a commercial image as well. And we also have this road here leading to the mountains, and this is in the Sierra Nevada mountains, actually, in California, and that was also sold on deposit photos. In total, I earned $1.62 from all of those dishonorable mention or low sales sites. Now, you might not always get sales from every agency that you submit to in each month. Um, that's no exception for me. And for April, those were on Video Hive, I am Alame, and Fine Art America. So now let's go ahead and get into some of the bigger agencies that I had sales on. Um, first up is Shutterstock. I had 19 downloads in April on Shutterstock, uh, but only $3.45 in earnings. 19 is actually about average for me, um, for my portfolio on Shutterstock, and, but my earnings were definitely a little bit lower than they normally are, which is a little bit disappointing. Um, as far as my portfolio is concerned, I have 702 images and 77 videos in April on my Shutterstock portfolio. I did have one on-demand on sale uh, that earned me $1.47, and it was this image right here. Now, this is the bromelade flower in bloom, and this was actually growing on a tree trunk in the El Junque rainforest in Puerto Rico. Now, the rest of the sales that I had were between like 10 and 20 cents, and here's just a few of those that sold. You might recognize this one from last month in my February video. This is the heron in the mangroves sold two times for me in April. Another one that sold a couple times, so this shot here of the St. Pete Pier, it sells a ton for me on Shutterstock, and it actually sold three times. And then next we have this rancher rounding up horses. This is from a shoot I did in Texas a couple years ago. And this pink hotel is the Don Cesar, and it's in Florida, the St. Pete Beach area of Florida. And yet another one of the Don Cesar, and this is a little wider angle shot, and that's, this wide angle shot actually sold twice on Shutterstock for me. And next up, we've got a few images that were actually of signs that sold. And I think it's pretty obvious why this next image sells, because it's a sign for Weed, California, and I, it, I've actually sold this a number of times. This sign here from the El Junque Rainforest. Here's one of a hotel suite called Home to Suites that actually sold. Of course, these are selling as editorial. And then another one from the El Junque uh, Rainforest as well. It's the same sign, but just like a wider shot as well. So you're probably noticing a little trend with those sign sales. Um, I've mentioned this before, but you definitely don't want to forget to take pictures of signs. It, might seem silly, but when you're photographing a location, it's always good to get coverage of everything, signs included. Not only does it help you remember where you're at when you're looking back at the pictures later on, but uh, they sell great, especially for editorial, because people are always needing, you know, for blog posts and things like that. Or if there's ever some kind of uh, newsworthy event that happens at one of those places, well, they're going to look for something that signifies the location, and a sign does a pretty good job of that. So next up, we have iStock Getty. Um, I had six image sales in April on iStock Getty and for a total earnings of $4.57. My portfolio on iStock is actually pretty small. In April, I only had 106 images and no videos up. But since my portfolio on iStock is so small, you've probably seen most of these images before because it's like the same images that sell over and over again like this one here of this hidden beach in turquoise waters that was another one from uh, my time in puerto rico as well as this view of loquio beach in puerto rico and this one which sells all the time you've definitely seen it before palm trees silhouetted against a colorful sunset that sold four times for me 
and it's definitely my best seller on iStock Getty. Next, let's talk about Wirestock. On Wirestock, I had seven image sales and I had one video sale for a total of $6.33. I also earned $3.26 in referral income, and that was actually from 50 downloads. So it's good and it's still good to see that you guys who like signed up through my referral link are getting sales. Uh, probably more sales than I am <laughs> though. But um, now my wire stock portfolio is 549 images and 93 videos. Um, I did have a really disappointing sale, uh, which was that video sale. And that came through on Wirestock through Shutterstock. It was, it earned me a whopping 85 cents. So it's, I'll just show it to you real quick so you can see it. It's this static video shot of a road in the Sierra Nevada mountains in California. And this actually is a road that leads up to Convict Lake. Now, as far as image sales are concerned, I had two photos of our standard poodle, Simon, who is no longer with us. Um, but every now and again, his pictures, that, these portraits I made of him um, when they used to have a, a studio space uh, sell, like this first one here. Uh, this is a black and white portrait of him. And then the second one here as well is a color image of Simon. But unfortunately, the sales were actually really low. I only earned three cents each, and that was through Wirestock's Extra Channels program. Next, we have this vertical shot of an industrial smokestacks overlooking Elliott Bay in Seattle, Washington. That actually sold through Adobe stock. Next, we have this shot of overlooking a winery in Lake Chelan, Washington State. That also sold on Adobe stock, and it sold two times for me. And then you might recognize this one from earlier that sold at Ice Getty. That's that bromelade flower in Puerto Rico. So now that we've been talking about Adobe stock a little bit and the sales I've had on Wirestock through Adobe stock, let's actually talk about my portfolio on Adobe stock itself. Um, that portfolio brought me in $12.99, and that was from six image sales and one video sale. I have a portfolio of 629 images and 68 videos in my portfolio there on Adobe Stock in April. And let's start with that video sale first because that's what usually gets me all excited. Uh, this shot here overlooking Emerald Bay in Lake Tahoe earned me $8.37. That's actually not too bad of a video sale, especially lately with all the video sales kind of becoming less and less. Um, but nonetheless, I also had a few image sales starting with these here. It's a wide shot of a hidden beach in Playa Escondida, Puerto Rico. This is a sim similar shot to what we saw earlier. This one sold three times. It basically brought in $2.31 just through those three sales. Next is a shot of a ferry crossing Elliott Bay in Seattle. Then there's this vibrant sunset reflected in the water as people were kind of splashing around in the ocean. This was actually shot in Treasure Island, Florida. And the last one is some waves crashing on a coral tropical beach in Hawaii. Now, before we get into my best agency for April 2023, um, I wanna ask you to do me a quick favor, and that is go ahead and give this video a like if you haven't already to help other people find it and kind of boost it in the algorithm. Fortunately, we have to do that <laughs> if, you, if you want your video to be seen, I guess. Um, and of course, if any of my videos have helped you out, um, you can also show me appreciation by using any of my links um, or even buying me a beer if you like. But if you haven't subscribed, I would say that's the easiest thing to do and that's, I'd appreciate that as well. Okay, so now let's get to my best agency for April and that was actually Pond5. Now you can probably guess on Pond5 is a video, primarily video site and I did sell a video on there. Um, I sold one video and I sold one image um, for a total of $37 and 77 cents. My portfolio on Pond5 is 937 images and 213 videos. We'll start with that video sale because that's the one that gets me most excited. This video here of this dramatic sunrise time lapse over the ocean was shot in Kauai, Hawaii, and that one earned me $26. Now I only have a few time lapses that I've even made. Uh, that one that you just saw, as well as uh, maybe two or three other ones. And so maybe I should do more time lapses. I don't know. I know uh, Jeff White does a ton of time lapses. If you haven't watched his channel, definitely should. 
He has, I think, some really good tutorials on how to do them. I need to probably watch those tutorials again and try to try my hand at doing some more time lapses because I do like the $26. That's pretty nice. Now I did have one image sale I talked about and it was this editorial shot here of a crowd of people and this was done at the Van Gogh Alive kind of immersive experience. It earned me $1.38 and of course since there's people in it, um, this was an editorial shot as well. Additionally, I did receive $7.29 as additional revenue, um, but upon further inspection, it seems that it was actually from my images being used to train an AI data set. Um, I know a couple other YouTubers have talked about this in previous videos, and since I'm so late to getting this video out, <laughs> you probably already know all this, um, but um, Jeff White and Jason Yoder had also noticed it as well in their April uh, earnings videos too. And I don't know, let me know if you saw the same thing um, with your earnings in Pond5. So now let's go ahead and give you a, a chart of my totals uh, broken down by agency. Okay guys, and one more thing before we click off this video, let me know what your sales were like in April in the comments and also leave a note if, tell me where you're actually watching this video from. So I would appreciate that. Um, you can also check out my other channel, Wandering Hearts. Like I mentioned, if you want to see more videos of my travels and things like that. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video inspires you with your own stock photo and video journey. Cheers.